you said why we didn't address your hat. James 4, 17. You said why we didn't address what's on your head, right? I'm asking, is it I got you. Ask your question. That, ask your question. I'm going to let you speak. Ask your question. Am I not supposed to take this off when the word comes out? Yes, okay, can I ask her? Yes, sir. Okay, listen to the Bible. All I want. This is the book of James, chapter 4 and verse 17. Your name Rob, right? Listen to what the Bible says. Therefore to him that knoweth to do good. So Rob knows to do good I'm already. Asking, no, is uh, that let me answer the question, bro. You a grown man, so let me answer. We're not going to cut each other off. So you said, ask the question. If I'm answering it, do not interrupt me until I finish, and I'm going to let you talk. Let us talk I got you. Okay, hold on. Talk. Go ahead. What's your question? Talk. All I need is, is that a law, yes or no? Okay, now let me finish, and I'm answering the question. But You're not going to determine how I answer it. No, I'm answering the question. You're not going to dictate how I answer the question. No, okay, then, so listen. Listen and let me answer the question. Rob, listen to this. Read it again from the top. That, this is the book of change. Chapter 4 and verse 17. Uh -huh. Therefore to him that knoweth to do good. So when you do good, that means to keep the commandments. Romans 7 and 12. You know that already? Because you've been watching it, so we ain't got to get it. Read it. Read on. To endure the night. And don't do it. You know to keep the commandments. You know to remove your hat off your head when right. the Bible comes so out. So but you choose. Is. Don't interrupt, bro. Hold your peace. We're going to be respectful. Finish. To him. It is sin! It is what? Sin! So now, 1 Corinthians 11 and 3. You know to do good, you know to remove your hat when right. the Bible comes out. Right. But you chose oh, not to, so right. you cannot blame us and say, look, you, go ahead. Listen. I'm listening, go ahead. There was all, there's, there's different teachings, that's why I'm asking. Okay, you that's know there's true. different, that's there's ISUPK. Right, right. Like, come on, so who are we? Come on. Who are we? Who are we? Are you I see? Okay, we are Israel United in Christ, and we just read out the Bible that God said you have to do what? So that is, that's all I need to know. Okay, so look, but well, God said you gotta do what with your hat. All praise, so why do you think there you go? Get a brother out of love. Get a brother out of love. So look, so now you learn. I didn't flip it, I'm just showing you what the Bible said. Read it again, because I don't think you're listening, but it's not thing to do. You got two grown men trying to go back and show you how to get closer to God, but you want to go ahead and say I'm not letting you talk. So listen, no, that's all you need to show you why. First Corinthians 4 and 11. I mean, First Peter 4 and 11. So you said I could have been like this. If a man is to speak, it's supposed to be according to the oracles of God. That's I'm right. show you what the Bible say. You didn't come up here to listen to what I got to say. Right. You came up here to listen to what the Bible has right. to say. Right. Yes or no? Right. Okay then, so when I answer the Bible, answer with the Bible, you can't say all you had to say no, is. But that, no, that, that, I have to go off of what God say do, because listening to ourselves, that's why brothers get killed every day. Right. Right. But we say that's why drug dealers on the corner right. who don't flinch when the police come, and the police is to destroy their community because brothers like Rob need to come over here and teach his people and stand up. That's you right. are not by yourself. That's I right. see Chicago been out here before me and you both knew who we was. Right. Now we showing you why this stuff happened. Now you've been watching for a long time. Now answer the question. Why did this stuff happen to blacks and Hispanics? Because we wasn't listening and we wanted to do exactly what just happened now. Moses, all you had to do is do this. Aaron, all you have to do, we cannot dictate how God wants us to be. Good. We have to be like how what the Bible told good. us to be. That's, that's God, right. You know to do good. You knew that. That's why I read it. I want good. confirmation, like I said. Okay. Right. Okay. I got, I got you. I got you. You don't get that. This is Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 17. Uh -huh. Ye shall diligently. So God said you shall diligently. You constantly, meaning you got uh, a consistency with keeping the commandments. Read. Keep the commandments of the Lord. He says he's the Lord, your God. Rob, did you not know to remove your hat? So that's all it is, to keep the commandments. So now you take one step at a time to keep the commandments. You didn't have to wait for us to say what you already uh, knew. Right. See, I wanted to make sure I knew. Right. You understand what so I'm saying? So did you know where the Bible say? According to another camp. Camp. That's there you right. go. There you go. Let me see. If he's just 414, I got to address it, bro. I got to address it. That's the Rock 129, we're gonna get that after this. But now you understand, it's multiple camps out here. You with have different, to, you, just like different Spanish, different, with Spanish is different right. dialects, yep, yep, Spanish, yep, right? Yep, yep, that's true. Same with the camps. And that's all I want is edification on the hat, right? Now, now I'm gonna give you the edification on about what you just said in different camps. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter four and verse 14. Uh -huh. That we henceforth be no more children, tossed to and fro, 
and carried away with every wind of doctrine. That's like what you just said. Give me what the doctrine is. You know what I want. So the Bible said we cannot be children tossed to and fro with every wind of doctrine. You came up here and you see, well, it's this camp, it's that, it's that camp, it's that camp. What you got to understand is we are Israel united in Christ. We're not affiliated with nobody I else. Understand. No, you understand? understand? So now that you know that and you've been watching, watch this. You know. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 4 and verse 2. Remember, you went, you said it's under different camps and all that. Your spirit is telling you, like, look, are you I see they teaching the truth. That's you didn't see other places. Bro, but like I was trying to explain to him, there was a point in time. I don't know how long you guys been in this church, but there was a point in time where there was like, there was some trauma going on. Rob, let me ask you something. You know what did it, you right? come here to listen, or did you come here to just spill everything out? You got a lot that you've been seeing, watching videos, and now you got a lot to get off your chest. I just been looking for a physical. So let me answer your question, and we're going to get and move past that. This is the book of Judges, chapter 5 and verse 11. They that are delivered from the noise of archers in the places of drawing water, there shall they rehearse. The righteous acts. So wait, what was we doing when we was trying to say, when you was bringing up that stuff about this new moon and that new moon, this belief, that belief, we were doing Come out the street. Rehearse the righteous acts. So we was rehearsing the righteous acts. So let me see this. If watch them cars, watch them cars. Some people say you're supposed to wear fringes, right? You know what fringes is? You know what fringes is? So look, come look right here. You remember, y'all both remember what fringes is, right? About the uh, so-called Mexicans, Hispanics, how they used to wear fringes on their clothes. And the poncho. The poncho. You remember that? On like the poncho, you see it today you know, on the south side or on the west side where the Mexicans be walking around with the little ponchos and they got the little strings in the pocket. God called those fringes. But he said, in the Bible, you supposed to wear these. Now, to use your example, what you was using. If I was to learn and say, well, to say four corners, I'm supposed to put fringes on one corner. Then I learned, well, wait, somebody gave me the understanding and said, you got to have fringes all around. What would we do? Rehearse! The righteous acts! So now you learning, you practicing keeping the commandments. So you've been doing your Israelite for how long? About 2017, so about five years. So about five years, have you how long have you ever heard that somebody told you Maybe when they body was getting destroyed, chopped up the bottom of the body. Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 49. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring a nation against thee. Give me, give me that eagle sign. So God said he was going to bring a nation, a group of people from sign. far, from where? From the end of the earth. Come on. As swift as the eagle flies. So he said as swift as the eagle flies, he was going to bring a nation from the other end of the earth. What nation or race of people identify themselves with the eagle? Look at this sign right here, man. Rome. Rome, look. Greece, Rome, Spain. Don't you see that? And what did they do? What did they do when the conquistadors, Christopher Columbus and them came over on this side of the earth? What did they do? Yeah. Say it again? Yeah. You said kill. You agree with that? So you see, they slaughtered, they killed, and they murdered millions of our brothers and sisters. And they ripped the babies out the stomachs and cut their stomachs off. They cut their body parts off. Read on. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Now wait, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. What language did you speak before Christopher Columbus and the Cathedral came? Did you always speak Spanish? You didn't speak Spanish until now. What language did you speak? I can't hear you like that. What language did you speak? Huh? So before you was conquered by conquistadors, the Spaniards, you think you spoke Spanish before that? What you think? I think you know already. And he, if you know already, your job is to be doing what we're doing now and teach the young brother John. John, what's your nationality? No. The Bible calls you an Israelite from the tribe of Issachar. That's you know right. You don't know your nationality no more? It's because we was cut off from our nationality. Read that. This is a brief account of the destruction of the Indies uh -huh. by Bartolome de la Casas. Page 42. Read. He separated and divided families. So isn't that what the white man or the so-called white man does today? He divides and conquers. He separates families. Who went into slavery in 1492? Huh? Black man? You sure? You see? So wait, who, I'm going to ask you this question. Don't ask me because I know you might know already. Who went into slavery first, black people or Hispanics? 
You don't know? So let me teach you. This is why you gotta learn your history. But I bet you know where uh, Christmas is. You know what day Christmas is? Uh, I can see you smiling under your mask. You know all that history. You know about all these presidents, but then they don't take you and let you learn your own history. The greatest history on the planet. Read that. He separated and divided families, uh -huh. forcing married men from their wives. So he separated and broke families apart. You read about that in the Bible. We're going to get Deuteronomy 28. That's to show you that you're an Israelite. No nationality is not Mexican. Mexican is not a nationality. But they labeled that to cause confusion to make y'all think y'all different people. He Puerto Rican. He Mexican. He African American. He's Dominican. She Cuban. We all got the same history, but we think we different people. Don't you see what happened? And then how they divide families today. It's called ICE. It's called detention centers. They were picked, they ripped the families apart, and they was taking them and take them away from their own families. Ripping apart what? Husbands from their what? And, they, and they married men from their wives. Haven't you seen today that that's still happening? Haven't you seen the so-called Mexican family today be at home and next thing you know he get pulled over or he walk outside and now he been here 10 years, no crime, never did nothing and they shipping them back, be port. That happened, right? Why did that happen? He used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.